We are looking at 88 rated icon Ronald Koeman. Three star, three star, high medium, five foot 11. So only can play centre back. He looks an unbelievably good CDM box to box midfielder because of how high his shooting is, his defending, his physical, his passing's absolutely fantastic. Great composure. Yes, agility and balance could be a concern, but in today's role, I don't think it matters too much. In terms of play styles, we've got power shot, dead ball plus, which means he's really good at free kicks, long ball pass, slide tackle, and bruiser. So bruiser's one where he pushes players off the ball a lot. And he'd be able to win the ball quite a lot from it. Now, we have gone for a shadow for the obvious reasons to maximize that pace in defending. Gets him up to 84 pace and 95 defending. Makes him into a 91 rated center back, a 91 rated CDM. Now, I would like to play him in CDM. But I think because of my defensive line, I'm probably going to keep him as a center back. As a CDM, he will definitely would win the ball a lot, of course. Be able to transition with the passing. But I do like to start my play, attack and play from the back line to the back four defenders and move up. And because he's got such high passing at 94 long pass and 86 short pass, I think it's going to be more beneficial for me in that style of play. Now, we are playing in a 4-2-3-1. We're going to be playing in elite division rivals today. I probably won't keep a clean sheet, so that means my opponent will score. But we'll see how Kuman does for us today. And let's just go jump into the gameplay as we load into the game now. So as mentioned, we are in Elite Division. We are playing in 4-2-3-1. Now, everybody kind of plays the same sort of way in this division. A lot of cutbacks, a lot of finesses. As you can see here, he's got Zola, Salah, who got finesse shot plus. So it's going to be very hard to keep a clean sheet. But his main job really is just to show how good he is at defending. I am concerned about his height. I know that's a weird thing to be concerned about, but for someone that's five foot eleven as a centre back, so we get him on the ball now. I mean, he doesn't look that small. He looks very similar to Blanc. So we've got Icon Blanc from the SBC as the other centre back. Now he does actually feel quite quick on the left stick for a centre back, considering his low agility and balance. So that's not a bad thing. We are going to ping the ball out wide here. And that's going to be his role, essentially. It's just to stop the attack, and we're just going to see if we can win the game, etc., and move on through. This has a bit of trouble here. We'll watch that finesse. And there it is. We blocked it straight away with Kuman, and that's exactly what we need to do. But this is what I was saying at the beginning of the, uh, the, the team reveal, is that's what everybody does in this division. Even myself, of course, I have to. Is basically sit on the edge of the box and just finesse, finesse, finesse. But you can see Kuman got out there. Kuman got out there really fast there and basically blocked that straight away, which is what we want him to do. We've got ourselves a bit of space here. Oh, that's a very lucky slide tackle. Back to Kuman. Got that pass at the bottom. We find it's a poor pass. Do get away with it a little bit there. Yeah, getting back to Kuman, trying to reset that attack. We got that switch out wide. Can we play it. Look at that for a pass. Wow. That's a shame about passing inside. If you like to do German ball with the centre backs, you've got yourself a lovely player there. And oh, we've not got a goal there. We'll have a look at your set pieces. He should be really good. So you can see they're 96, 95, 92, and 95. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try and whip this in to Blanc's head. I know the keeper's come off the line. We're going to call someone over to make it look like we're going short, and then we're going to whip this in. Oh, we nearly get ourselves in a goal from it. But that's the good thing about dead ball plus, is you can see exactly where the ball's going the entire time. Now we need to see what his recovery speed is like. Kuman here, lovely tackle, comes in, shuts that play down. I guess has a counter attack underway. Well, back to Kuman again. Let's see if we can get Walker to run down the line for us. He's dragged Ashley Cole out, which is kind of what we want. It's a poor pass from Salah, though. Got us caught out here. Kuman's got a three on one situation. Going for the early shot, no issue there. So he does seem to be a bit worried about Kuman getting close to him. Now, the thing I like about Kuman is in this situation here, say if you're under a bit of pressure, they're on a 71 depth, you can just drive yourself out like this, get the pass off, play it back to him, and then we've got the through ball again. And this is because of his high passing. kuman has got Griezmann at the top, we find him, great passing. And this is something about having a defender who can pass really well, is you can get yourself, oh, again, poor pass from Griezmann. But you can get yourself on a counter-attack with one pass, essentially. And we have got 1-0 down. Unfortunately, some good attacking play from our opponent. It's been a very close game. Koeman's done really well. Koeman's done really, really well for us. Unfortunately, now he's going to pass it around the back in time way because that's what people do in this division once they've scored. And we have got ourselves an equaliser back. one all back in the game. Do we manage to keep the out contained? Got a recover here. And a great defensive tackle. That's so important because people love to do the cutback. And that's exactly what we need to do there. Very quick recovery speed from him. And we managed to stop that attack. Oh, we nearly had uh, Son clean through. We do have him through here. Can we play that pass? We can. 
Lovely skill and a green time shot and the keeper saved it. I can't believe it. And that's half time. We are 2-1 down. Like I said, the score doesn't really reflect on it. A couple of things I've noticed with Koeman at the moment. His passing is absolutely out of this world as we've seen. He's actually very quick. He's quicker than I thought he would be. The agility and balance isn't an issue. I do think he's probably better suited to play as a CDM. So I'm actually going to drop him into a CDM role in the second half to see how we get on. Now, I do like him as a centre-back. He's doing way better than I originally thought he would. But at the same time, we are lacking in certain situations. So we are going to bring on Mkhitaryan here. We're going to have ourselves a CDM and an attack and roll, as you can see. And we're just going to see how we get on in the second half of him. So second half underway, Komen into, Komen into the CDM role now. And let's just see how he does in this position. Centre back, he does the job very, very well. But like I said, in this division, people know how to finesse shot plus from certain angles, cutbacks, etc. So he's not going to be the most out of him. He's done very well in that role, don't get me wrong. But here's where I really want to see him. He's a bit slow getting recovery there, I could say, from the keeper. And there you go, abusing the finesse shot. Just as I mentioned, that's what people are going to do in this division. And now we're getting gritted on. <laughs> So sad. Glass has a free kick on the edge of the box, which we know that Kuman's got the dead ball plus. So we are going to use that with him. We're also going to call over some players as well. And what we're going to do is pop this into that corner here. He has moved his keeper, so I'm interested to see if he saves it. I'm going to go for three bars of power. Green time. Oh, off the bar. Very unlucky there. We didn't get a goal. As we do get shot across, and now we've hit the post. You just can't make it up. Hit the bar and the post, unfortunately. Right, Kuman on the ball. He's got Salah at the top. Can we find him? A lovely pass into Salah. Come in there, just trying to shut down the attack. Not a problem. Coming over and covering. Seems very quick, like I said. Not an issue with the pace, really. Come in, driving. Great pass into Kevin De Bruyne. Now we've got the extra pass. Can we find it? We can. There's a terrible touch from Dembele there. And the cutback as well. So, unfortunately, we have been absolutely battered in this game. The issue is I'm trying to show you some clips of Koeman in different positions that I wouldn't normally play. And that's just how it's been, unfortunately. He's been very, very good for us. In a normal situation, I probably wouldn't drag players out to try and make tackles or drive them forward like we have been doing. One on one. Oh, and there's a mad save from Schmeichel again. I can't believe we've not scored another goal. We've hit the bar, we've hit the post. A couple wonder saves from the keeper as well. I mean, uh, got Salah clean through. We do find Son. Green time. And again, a lovely save from the goalkeeper. Every shot we're green timing, going into the corners. And the keeper's making mad saves. Going for the Traveller, green time. And then Van Dyke jumps out of nowhere and blocks it. <laughs> what is going on in this game? He picks the ball up. Bit slow getting there, but good pass into transition. And we got ourselves another goal back in the game now. Right, it's 4-3 now. We are getting back in the game because I'm doing less things with Kuman to get yourself some clips. So we are trying to concentrate and try and win the game here. I think our opponent's going to pass around the back a bit now because he's panicking. We'll have to see. Deception into Kuman. Got Sarah at the top of the pitch. Can we find him? That's an absolutely outrageous pass. Have to reset the attack, not a problem. Back into Kuman. Dembele finds Son. Son shoots and we've got the equaliser. And again, that came from Kuman's passing. Back out. Back in again with Kuman into the Dembele. And now we've equalised. Just goes to show you that even in these divisions, it is possible to come back if you're not just forcing the ball to one player to try and get clips. One to make sure that comes through pretty clear. Let's see if we can get ourselves a winner here. Our Salah's too fast, unfortunately. Kuman here. Lovely ball in to... De Bruyne finds Son. Son, shot across goal, and we've got ourselves a winner. That's what you get for being toxic, gritty, and time-wasting. We have come back, and we've possibly won this game. He's got a corner here. We just need to defend this corner, and it's over. He's going to try and finesse it, I reckon. Kuman's marking Van Dyke, which is not really ideal, because of his height. We'll see if it's an issue or not. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. He's got another corner. It's 93 minutes. The game should have ended. Keepers come out. Easy save. And that's going to be the game. What a comeback. We were 4-1 down. 
Brought it back to 5-4. Now, I just want to make this clear so you understand. In some sort of reviews, we obviously have to force him to attack, especially when we're playing in a centre-back role, to get clips for the review. Otherwise, it could take me up to six hours to record. But you can see here, he was really, really good for us. I thought he was absolutely fantastic in the role. We didn't have a show in performances. Played him as a CDM in the second half and a centre-back in the first half. He got an 8.0, considering he didn't get any goals or assists. He had 20 dribbles out of 22 complete. Going back to his agility and balance, that is very unlucky. Now, he hit the crossbar from the free kick and another shot was blocked. But this way really stood out. 19 out of 24 passes complete. And a lot of them were corners, don't forget. But you can see that there's that one pass that goes from the middle of the circle all the way up to the corner flag. That was that one-two pass between him and Carl Walker that got us the equaliser. And then this is where he really strived. Now, you can see here he had... Seven out of, uh, sorry, five out of seven offensive duels won. Two out of four defensive aerial duels won. One out of one. Beaten by the opponent only once. He also made quite a lot of inceptions and tackles overall. And he just dominated that, absolutely dominated the defense for us. You can see this is our skill rating at the moment. We're on about just under 800 in elite division. So we are at a top, top tier. But let's go jump over to Footbin now. So there's about 96,000 coins on the market. I got him from the 89 Max Icon upgrade yesterday that came out. Now, he does have another version of the card, which is the Centurions one, which is obviously plus ones, I believe, on the card. If I have a look at him here, you can see when it loads up. Now, this is only 136, and the difference is plus ones, plus twos. So if you want a Kumin in your team to either play CDM or to play centre-back, he's very good at both. Now, I highly recommend a Shadow. Because he's controlled lengthy, means he gets quicker over time. The only thing I will say that might come across as a negative for him is if you like to drag players out or you always drag players out, he may not do very well for you in that sense because his recovery speed isn't the quickest. And that's just down to the fact of his body build being an average and 5'11 with this low agility and balance. Left stick turning and dribbling with the ball. Didn't really notice any issues with that. His passing is an absolute cheat code for that. If he had... Anything like incisive pass, this would be one of the best CDMs in the game. Long ball pass, we saw that switch diagonally. That's why he's so good at doing them. And if you want to play him in a CDM role, you have to kind of abuse that and make sure that you're using it. But overall, I think he's a really good defender. Do I think he's the best defender in the game? Unfortunately not. EA have messed up defenders this year and we've got so many good ones. But he definitely should be up there in consideration. If you need someone to take free kicks, because that dead ball plus is also really good for him. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you need the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.